You called your opponent an existential threat uh, on a call a week ago. You said it's time to put Trump in the bullseye. There's uh, some comments on the assassination attempt uh, against former President Trump this weekend. Obviously, most of the work that we do here at the State Department relates to events overseas, and it is rare that I comment on things that happen here at home. But of course, what happens inside the United States is essential to the work that we do outside our borders. Everybody knows, everybody with a brain in their head, Jake, knows that this was always going to end in negotiation. The idea that Ukraine was going to throw Russia back to the 1991 borders was preposterous. Nobody actually believed it. Defiance against somebody who tried to kill him. You will not take this man down. You called your opponent an existential threat uh, on a call a week ago. You said it's time to put Trump in the bullseye. There's some dispute about the, the context, but I think you appreciate the I didn't say crosshairs. I was talking about focus on. Look, the truth of the matter was, what I guess I was talking about at the time was, there was very little focus on Trump's uh, agenda. Yeah, the term was bullseye. It was, a, it was a mistake to use the word. I didn't, I didn't say crosshairs. I meant bullseye. I meant focus on him. Focus on what he's doing. America's best interest is to accept Ukraine is going to have to cede some territory to the Russians, and we need to bring this war to a close. Right. We need to bring the killing to a stop, and that's what American leadership should be doing. Governments around the world have questions about what happened on Saturday, just as Americans do. And our message to them is simple. As President Biden has made clear, there is no place for violence in our democracy. Like trying to reform America again, bringing back America. Because the Lord told me, he said, I am not done with America. He said, there's going to be a new wave of patriotism coming out. And that's whenever I saw Trump and I saw, the, I saw a, a red wave coming out of um, Michigan. And then I saw Oklahoma and there was embers of people and they were all on um, these, these, they had torches all throughout Oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire. And they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation. And it was coming, it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America, all throughout. And I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. And I saw um, he was, he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking, people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming.